he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. Uh, I, I, I think that that's historically right. <laughs> you know, I think that all of these gospel authors, I think all of them think that in some sense, Jesus is God. If you think that the Bible cannot have any mistakes in it, if you're shown a mistake, then you just refuse to admit it's a mistake. You think either it can be reconciled in some way or that there's something we just don't understand about it or, you know, we have, and, and, <laughs> In the Quran, it's mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> so, no, that, that is my view. It's a necessary condition for a book from God not to have contradictions. It's That's an assumption about what kind of book God could write. I know this is a, an important argument that uh, apologists use for Islam. As somebody who is not either Christian or Muslim, it doesn't make sense to me for humans to say what God has to do. If God wants to make a revelation, it has to be this, this, or that. You're talking about somebody who's beyond your imagination. Well, so what, there has to be something within revelation which distinguishes it from human speech so as to act as an evidence. Yes, I know, I that, know. Your, I know that's your argument. I'm saying who says it has to be? You are. No, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Right. If it's not, then anyone can claim prophecy or prophethood, right? Well, the Christians and, say that's what the, that's what the Christians say what Muslims are doing. They're just claiming things for themselves. <laughs> No, no, I, in, in the past, prophets came with kind of visual miracles. The final prophet, who's we believe Prophet Muhammad, he came with something that can be analyzable in our times. If it's analyzable in a sense that you can distinguish it from human speech, and so this would be the argument that we would put forward. Yeah, no, I know, I know, and I don't, I don't buy it. <laughs> 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 Suppose he did not call himself God. That would not mean he's not God. I don't call myself a uh, you know a pain in the neck. <laughs> but doesn't mean I'm not a pain in the neck. <laughs> yeah, maybe. And I don't I don't buy it. <laughs> How much can we be uh, sure? about the crucifixion of Jesus and whether he was indeed crucified. I think on a historical basis, Jesus was absolutely crucified. I, I think that there is, uh, as a historian, there's there's almost no doubt about that. And in case, in case your audience doesn't know, I'm, I'm not, I don't identify as a Christian. I mean, I, I was raised a Christian, but I'm an atheist now. I'm not, I don't have a particular stake in any of this information personally. But I think the crucifixion of Jesus is one of the, is probably the best attested, one of the best attested events of his life. Um, it is, um, it's found all over the place in our early sources. It's even mentioned by non-Christian sources. And it's, um, uh, it's a kind of a complicated thing for me to argue, although I can at length if somebody wants me to, that, that it's, it is not, it's not the kind of thing that Christians would have made up about him if they wanted to make up legends. Um, if they wanted to make up something about Jesus, it wouldn't be that he got killed by the enemy, <laughs> tortured to death. Uh, then what they would have made up is that he became the king and he's sitting on the throne in Jerusalem. <laughs> but they couldn't make that up because everybody knew it wasn't true. <laughs> and so they had to say, well, yeah, he got crucified. But then they ended up saying that because he was crucified, that was significant, that it was the plan of God. And um, But they're, they're kind of explaining it. They're not, you know, they're explaining because they got to explain it because he was crucified. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The, the Islamic account is very strange. It is, it is that, um, I guess, that people think Jesus was crucified and that somebody was crucified, but it wasn't Jesus. It was just somebody else uh, who people thought was Jesus. And it's a very strange thing to think. <laughs> well, it is. You know, it didn't start with, uh, with Islam. It actually, there's a, there's a Christian teacher in the second century named Basilides who was Là, c'est l'histoire des basilites. Celui qui avait commencé cette théorie que Jésus-Christ n'était pas mort, que le professeur docteur Bart Amen, qui est un athée, mais les musulmans aiment beaucoup les citer, mais il détruit l'islam. Ça, c'est pitoyable, vraiment. Lui, c'est un athée, il n'est pas chrétien. Et les musulmans aiment l'inviter, comme nous le voyons. C'est 
And he wrote a gospel. He wrote a Gnostic gospel. We don't have the gospel anymore. But we have a church father who quote who talks about it. And in his account, uh, what he says is that there. So there was a fellow in the gospels. Jesus is carrying his cross, and they impel somebody else to carry the cross for him to the place of crucifixion. And according to Basilides, what happened is this other person whose name was Simon from Cyrene, which is in North Africa, Simon Cyrene carries the cross. And when he gets there, Jesus pulls an identity switch. He's the son of God. He can do miracles. He makes Simon of Cyrene look just like him. And then he looks just like Simon of Cyrene. And so the Romans think they're crucifying Jesus, but they're crucifying Simon. And Jesus is standing by the cross laughing. <laughs> he presumably like Simon, Simon didn't think it was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Many Muslims feel that well, your conclusions or historical conclusions of who Jesus Christ is is more commensurate with the Muslim uh, idea than it is with uh, the Christian one. I, I wouldn't say that they line up well with the uh, Muslim view. <laughs> I really do think Jesus was crucified. <laughs> he really was dead and buried. I'm not interested in whether Jesus was the Son of God because I don't think there was a God. <laughs> and so, my understanding is that your conclusion is that Jesus Christ was a messianic prophet. I think he, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. Uh, I, I, I think that that's historically right. <laughs> you know, I... Denied. Okay, celui qui veut débattre avec nous, notre numéro est là. Vous pouvez nous appeler pour le débat. Nous vous attendons. Que le Seigneur vous bénisse.